There's a lot of stories. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. A lot of rappers' penises have been oh, in my mouth. Yeah, which ones? Um, give us what? Give us chapter balls. two. I'm what about so their balls? Just the balls. <laughs> Always the balls. <laughs> okay, good. Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes, welcome back to another creepy video. Now, for most of you, the internet is a lot of fun. You can watch videos on YouTube, you can see what your friends are doing on Twitter, you can post pictures on Instagram. And maybe once in a while you can go to the weird side of YouTube and see some crazy videos. But underneath all of that, deep, deep, deep into the internet is something called the dark web. Now the dark web is very real. It's not a conspiracy, it's not a legend. It's a very, very real place where some of the darkest parts of humanity are exposed. Now before we talk about some of the scariest things that are on the dark web, let's explain where it is. So the internet has three layers. Let's think of it like an iceberg. The top layer is the clear web. Now the clear web is something that we're all familiar with. That's where the Googles and the Twitters and the Facebooks are. But the clear web only makes up 4% of the internet. That's right, this much of the internet is what we really know. And then there's a lot more underneath it. So the next layer right under the clear web is the deep web. Now the deep web isn't that scary. It's just stuff that most common people don't know how to find or don't care about. It's mostly data, encrypted services, and other stuff like that. Now, if we're gonna continue with the iceberg analogy, the dark web would be the very, very bottom of the iceberg, underneath a mile of pitch black cold water. And the bottom of that iceberg is massive. In fact, there's an estimated four billion pages on the dark web. Now, the dark web is something that's almost impossible to find. You could do a Google search and go through a million pages and never find it. In many ways, we're looking at a parallel universe. We're looking at an alternative internet, a place where people communicate secretly and securely away from the prying eyes of governments. Now even just trying to access the dark web is dangerous, and if you do it, you could get on the radar of the FBI. It's a secret world used by criminals to buy and sell drugs, guns, sex, just about anything you can imagine. Now even some incredibly skilled hackers stay away from the dark web, mainly because some of the things you can find on it are so incredible. Also, most of the things aren't just terrifying, they're illegal. Here's just a list of a few things that you could find. You can buy social security numbers. You can buy stolen credit card information. You can buy weapons and guns. You can buy drugs. You can buy an incredibly illegal porn. You can organize terrorist attacks. You can buy snuff films, which are videos of real people dying. You can even buy death. That's right, on the dark web, you can hire a hitman to kill somebody. The amount of illegal shit you can buy on the dark web is crazy. Okay, so I found this one. It is called, I think it's like fake ID and passports. Yeah, fake passport ID sale. Uh, so fake German passports, all kinds of stuff like this. Uh, our passports are produced with high quality and have no difference from the original documents. Now I know you're thinking, Shane, this doesn't make sense. How is the government not shut this down? Well, that's mainly because it's so incredibly difficult to find. In 2011, a man named Ross William Ulbricht started an online black market called Silk Road. And the things you could find on the Silk Road were intense. The government says hundreds of thousands of users like this man use the impossible to trace website which sells drugs, weapons, forged documents, and even hitmen. It's called the Silk Road. Now eventually Ross was investigated and was put in prison for life for creating the Silk Road. Now one of the main reasons he was put in prison was because on the Silk Road, you could hire assassins and you could buy a lot of drugs. The browser's website says Tor was originally developed for the US Navy in an effort to keep government communications out of the public eye. Now police say human traffickers are using browsers like it to hide. Okay, now we're gonna talk about some of the scariest stories from the dark web. Now on the deep web, there's a lot of different communities of people who are into interesting things. And one of those things cannibalism. That's right. There was even a place called the Cannibal Cafe, where cannibals from all over the world would discuss how to find victims, how to prepare them, and in some cases, buy and trade body parts for them to eat. In fact, a convicted murderer and cannibal named Armin Muse used this community to find another man named Byrne Brands. Now, Armin and Byrne agreed to meet each other, and they agreed also to eat Byrne's penis. I... Let's just keep going. <laughs> Armin killed Byrne and then ate 44 pounds of him. When the body is to be eaten, it has to be dead. That's clear. 
and Mr. Brandes put his uh, penis on the table and Mr. Mayavis cut the penis with his knife. He also then put him in the freezer, kept him there for 10 months while he slowly ate him and he videotaped the entire thing. Now obviously this video is not online anywhere, but it was shown in court and some of the jury members afterward had to go to therapy. Ugh, <laughs> that one's just, I, I, eh. All right, this next story is unfortunately a very common one. This is from a Reddit user named I am Sharkfin. I once came across a website advertising a hitman. His services cost increasingly more based on the type of target. I don't remember the exact amount, but the order went something like this. From least to greatest, civilians, police, politicians, and children. Yeah, and there's tons of hitmen on the dark web that you can hire. And hiring them is just as dangerous as committing the murder yourself. I mean, that's one of the main reasons the guy who created Silk Road was thrown in prison. Now this next part is very intense. There's an entire community on the dark web who likes human torture. There's a place called the Human Experiment. Now some of the things they talk about doing on this site are as follows. Injecting bleach into pregnant women, starvation, sterilization, and exposure to radiation. Now if that's not crazy enough, there's something that a man named Peter Soli did that will terrify you. Now Peter did really awful things to young women and videotaped it and posted it on the dark web. He even sexually assaulted, tortured, and murdered a girl while people watched online. Peter Scully was on the run for four years. Considered Australia's most evil predator, he was the mastermind behind a worldwide pedophile ring, which he ran from a remote corner of the Philippines. Now Peter was put away in prison for life. And this isn't the first time or the last time that stuff like this has happened on the dark web. People being hurt or tortured as a form of entertainment is very real. Now listen, I am incredibly intrigued by this. Obviously, I made a video about it. But I am going to warn you, please do not visit the dark web. I'm not going to. I mean me, this guy, even I stay away from it. I mean, there's plenty of terrifying, creepy, insane shit on the clean internet. The amount of videos I've seen of just I'm not going to go there. I mean, just the front page of Live Leak alone is fucking nuts. So to think about stuff that's even scarier than that, my brain can't process it. So once again, please don't go there. This video was made to talk about it, not to get you to go there. Plus, there's plenty of creepy shit on my channel for you to watch. <laughs> so you don't have to. Well, there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed this creepy video. If you want another one, or if you want me to dive a little bit deeper into one of the creepy areas of the dark web, give me a thumbs up so I know. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell below, because I make new videos every day. And if you want to see some of my other videos where I talk about the scariest websites on the internet, I'll put a link to a playlist right at the top of the description below. All right, you guys. Fun on the internet.